All right, everyone, welcome to Paramount Studios uh, Writer's Room. I am Joe Paramount, here with my co-worker, Jake Paramount. Hello. Uh, and per court ruling after cases of sexual misconduct from both of us, we have to record all of our work meetings going forward. Yes. So we're just catching up. Sadly, we do. Unfortunately. We're just catching up on some of the shows that have been pitched to us in the last few weeks. Um, we have a Gritty Looney Tunes. A racist and Gay Gambit movie. Ooh, bring the X-Men back. That's interesting. Yeah, bring them back. Uh, Maybe we can get... Uh, what's his name? Uh, I went to a party at his place the other mm, day. Oh, the guy who made the other X-Men ago. movies. Brian Singer. Yeah, I, I think yeah, he's yeah, free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we could bring him in. Alec Baldwin, Donald Trump, HBO style drama. Ooh, prestige TV. Ooh, commentary on Donald Trump that is pretty be... hot with the kids right now. Yeah, especially Alec Baldwin's uh, portrayal of him. Very, very popular with the. I youth. actually wrote in Alec Baldwin, Donald Trump on my uh, last ballot. What's next? Yeah. What else do we have? Uh, gay jackass. Uh, Black Panther with an overweight white guy in the lead. Okay, interesting. That could be. You know, you know, turning the tables a little bit. Yeah. Oh, and Aaron Sorkin came at us with a Pod Save America uh, style show about mm. po political podcasters. Interesting. Yeah, that could be. That could be. That could be interesting. Yeah. Aaron Sorkin. All right. Our next appointment is with uh, Jason Milikeff, the uh, uh, writer producing a adaptation of ooh of uh, the movie Heather's, a TV show. Uh, let's get him in here and see what's up. Hey guys, how's it going? Jason, so, welcome. A little bit about welcome. me. I've been a writer on SNL, uh, The Girls Show on HBO, two episodes before they uh, kicked me off. Um, mm. And then I've also wrote for Bill Maher. No, not that episode. <laughs> but uh, that's just some of my uh, credits. Wow, I am, I'm a big fan of real time, actually. Uh, the, the new rules bit is, is hilarious. Hey, I, I used to sleep on the guy's couch that made that bit, actually. Dude, well done. Congratulations, mm. Jason. Um, what's, your, uh, what's your alma mater? Um, obviously, uh, I'm a Yale man. Mm. Uh, mm. You know, they, some people say it's the Same poor here. man's Harvard, but uh, hey, if you can't get into Yale, you're broke. Yeah, yeah me and Jake actually went yeah. to Yale as well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we love to see it. Bunch of Yale men. All right, let's, um, let's hear about your TV show. What, what do we have going so here? So my... My idea is for Heather's for uh, the modern day, for the kids to relate to. Okay. Uh, I am a 40-year-old man, so I think I kind of know what the kids are into. I have kids of my own, mm -hmm. so I have a lot of influence from them. How old are your kids? Uh, I mean, 10 and 11, but, you know, it's kind of the same. Oh, of course, group. of course. They're going through the same yeah, things that the high schoolers are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The jewels and, you know, the fortnighting and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know what any of those mean. Uh, uh, that's, that's why you pay me the money. Yeah. So, so, what my idea is, Heather's for the modern day. So, you know how the traditional Heather's is a bunch of wasps uh, in the middle of Ohio, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, so that's it's not cool anymore. Being, it, but... being cool is not cool in high school anymore. Oh, you don't think so? Okay. Are they still, uh, no, 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 still no, going to no. be hot? Uh, what do you... To some. Oh, sorry. To sorry. Some, yeah. I forgot we were recording that. What do you meeting. mean by... Being cool isn't cool well, anymore. Being online is really cool. Being on the internet. Uh, for uh, mm. the recording, I did finger quotes there. That's what uh, kids are into. It's called irony. Uh, so I'm thinking of Heathers for the modern day. I don't really see them as the villains. So I think we're going to go with um, someone that's extremely online, uh, kind of a social activist, if you will. Mm. Mm. That's going to be the main Heather, Heather Chandler. Okay. And you know what? Uh, I was tripping off peyote last night, and I was just kind of, you know, doing a little walk around through the park. Like night. every good writer like, we uh, have for TV. Like, you know, like, yeah, like every grown uh, writer. Uh, Happens. And I was thinking, what if Heather Duke, uh, the hot, vivacious redhead, uh, uh, yeah. sorry, I forgot we were recording. <laughs> they'll, they'll strike that part, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The court only yeah, listens yeah, to the actual about, business don't worry about it. Okay, okay, that's awesome, that's awesome. Um, so we will make her into a he that's transitioning. Oh. 
Because those guys are always at the top of the social food chain. I really, yeah, I really admire that. Even though you don't understand a lot about the whole transgender issue, that you're like brave enough to write about I it. I mean, I think that's really. I mean, cool. might as well put it in there. I mean, that's pretty popular nowadays too. Uh, I, I'm constantly hearing about it within the news. I, very, very, very present. Yeah, great idea. It's a pretty big. It's a pretty big trend right now. And I think the team of white upper middle class writers that I will bring with me will be able to nail it. The Yale graduates, they understand it the, very well. Only Yale yeah. graduates here at Paramount. Okay, what else? Uh, and I think, you know what? I never really liked the third Heather. We're just going to kill her off like maybe two episodes in. Don't really worry about it. Oh, okay. It. Don't worry Fair about enough. it. Fair she'll, enough. She'll, hey, but you know, she'll have a, an affair with her high school teacher. So, I mean, you know, you got to throw okay. in some for the fellas in, right? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know yeah. being an adult male that I find that plot the most intriguing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, just give them a little taste, but don't give them the full meal, you know? Yeah. Okay. All right, Jason, I have no qualms about the show. Everything sounds great. Jake, yeah. do you agree? Yeah, I think it sounds interesting. All I'm right. a little worried about the about the subject matter, but... Oh, we'll, it'll be we'll, fine we'll, as long as there's no school shootings. It'll be chill. Okay, well, cool. yeah. We'll, we'll, we don't have those we'll very often. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll figure it and, out. And you know what? If there is one, we'll just push it back a little bit. How, long, how many of those in a row could there be? Yeah, it won't be an issue. All right. Well, all right, Jason. All right, gentlemen. Thanks for coming uh, in. Yeah. Feel free to leave you guys sniff here. a line on the way out. Yep. I'll leave you guys with your pizza party. Yeah. Enjoy we have a day. private jet outside for you. Actually, we'll catch you later. Welcome everybody, it's Honors Film, we're back again, of course, with your weekly updates. Today we're talking about the 1988 film Heathers, and I'm joined here as always with the boys, Quinn Pedersen Wilson, hey. Lucas Leonard, greetings and salutations, Alex, <laughs> hey. and a very special guest, one of our friends, Henry. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good to be here tonight. Yeah. Well, welcome to the show, dude. No, I'm, I've been kind of, like, excited to talk about this movie. Because I actually really like this movie, like, unironically. So I'm kind of interested to hear what you guys have to say about it, though. It's the first good movie we've done on the show. Like, good quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, movie? What do you, oh, just, oh, just wait. We'll, we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah, quickly sure. recap for me, since I'm a new guest. What movies have you guys done so far? Okay. Um, episode Aquaman. 1. Was... Aquaman. Oh, episode that was zero. the unreleased, yeah, unreleased pilot. Uh, yeah, we okay. can talk about that one. That one's uh, That's not canon. That's not canon. No. And yeah. then Fast and Furious, the first one. Well, Punisher Wars. Um, Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar. Oh, Vampire's yeah, Kiss Vampire's Nicolas Kiss Cage. Nicolas Cage. Watchmen. Watchmen. And then Watchmen. Watchmen. Fuck you and for now, Watchmen, uh, by the way. Heathers. And now we're, and now we're here. All right. I mean, if you're a real fan, you'd have already known that. But you know what? We'll give yeah. You, we'll, give you, we'll help you out. Clearly you're not listening, <laughs> Henry. Clearly you're not listening. Yeah, cl- clearly not. Clearly not. To be yeah. fair, we aren't on Apple Podcasts yet. Dude, hey. Yeah. yeah. We got dicked down right by Tim now. Cook and Steve Jobs. We are resubmitted for Both review pending from uh, February 14th. So we probably shouldn't. Dude, shit that's talk. more promising. So yeah, that's a little bit more promising because last time we just got like a straight up like. The that was like day. a one, was, one like, day a later. Decline. One, day, one day later, just flat out. Yeah. Man. It was probably because of the, one of the thumbnails. Yeah, the Homer, Homer, Homer getting <laughs> shot with multiple bullets was not very PG. Yeah, fucking Homer Simpson like wasted next to a school bus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like the theme that we were going for, though. Dude, that would have been like, so, so good. We had so many good ones. With those, like, weird-ass cartoon the cartoon, characters. Characters. cartoon characters who were either, like, violently killed or addicted to drugs. Oh. Yeah. Dude, the Crash Bandicoot one. 
Oh my god. Oh, god. No, I like the one where it was like all of them. When it was like a bunch of oh, cartoon characters. Group it was like Superman was like fucking taking a hit from a bong. We had Goku fucking was Bug Bunny. Yeah, yeah Goku, we had like... oh, Dude, that was so awesome. Uh, that might be our new, like, like... The... That might be our new logo instead of Honor's film. Yeah. I like the um I just like the I just like the classic like bootleg arts like the the fucking like Bart Simpson saying Mandela the dude's my hero oh my or God. like that's, that's a classic bootleg <laughs> no it's that's, the, a classic that's a classic bootleg classic, bootleg, classic bootleg is like Looney Tunes with guns just like like Black Bart Simpson is like really popular <laughs> that's like that's um extremely like Facebook shit what yeah, like bootleg like, like, yeah shit? yeah that's yeah, Facebook like, that's the shit tattoos or like like a picture of like Elmer Fudd shooting up heroin and being like, oh, yeah, when I'm that, I fucked up, that's the real me. And <laughs> like, some like dumb guy from your high school shares it. Dude, <laughs> I just always think of that like weird ass like Marilyn Monroe edits where like she has a bunch of tat- sh- tattoos and like a fucking I saw, bandana. I was in um I was in Victoria this week and I went to this like really like tacky art store and they had like like all like the Marvel movies on these big printouts and they had like dogs playing poker, but then they mm. had the the Marilyn Monroe James Dean tattooed oh, that's so awesome. in the cafe black dude, and white that's huge sick print. dude that's fucking badass <laughs> that's, what's that's what's up that's what's up that's what's up that's what's up dude. that is dude, official what's up that? dude i think i think peak facebook though is like minions telling you not to vaccinate your kids <laughs> <laughs> dude it's um it's uh the tasmanian devil wearing a dude wife beater and like shorts that's peak Facebook. <laughs> that takes me back. That takes me back to the days. Dude, fucking. Where it's Facebook. like a, like a minion, and there's like a huge ass paragraph about like suicide or some shit like that. <laughs> oh my, yeah, dude. That's, that's like some amazing stuff right there. Or like a minion next to the fucking twin towers or some shit. Like that's that. a real one. That that, I yeah. know that, <laughs> that actually happened. Uh, yeah, the that minions. Shit happens. <laughs> the minions Sweet. were actually flying the planes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, since we talked about, like, uh, you know, terrorist attacks, let's go back to Heathers. That was an awesome segue. A good transition. <laughs> nice <laughs> segue, segue. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. That's, that's Noah's segue at minute five. My segue? Right. Well, we can continue talking about it. No. No, no, no. no. That, that conversation's <laughs> dead. We can just, like, juice <laughs> it out for runtime. Who gives a shit? It's like you juice can, it get out over, for runtime. If you get over a certain yeah. amount of time, you get extra ad. None of us have any shame. All right, All right let's uh, let's talk about Heather's. Let's um, did like everyone give their own like personal thoughts? Just like a quick little. No, we did not last that long on track. All right, cool. Let's <laughs> let's do that. Who wants to go first for their feelings on the movie? Preferably not Lucas first. Okay. Yeah, um, it, yeah, Quinn. It was nice to watch a movie that was like actually legitimately not the worst this time. Like this uh, movie was actually like funny and had a lot of good lines and like the story didn't like made sense. It was just enjoyable overall, which is a nice change of pace for our podcast. <laughs> Are you saying that Watchmen wasn't a masterpiece? I am. Are saying you saying Harold and Kumar wasn't a masterpiece? Harold and Kumar actually I did enjoy, but the rest of them uh, I will probably never watch again. Yeah, with good reason. Punisher Warzone was like funny, but I would never watch it again. I hope we can get like the director for the. Pop- That'd be sick. I need to oh send that email. God. You do need to send that email <laughs> <laughs> or token. If we get token, that'd be cool too. Hunter, you need to watch Punisher okay. Warzone. Do I actually? No. Uh, no. no. Like, is, it no. Actually, is it actually worth my time? No. To no. Watch the Punisher. Uh, just read my review on Letterbox. Like, let's not. It just essence. sounds. It just sounds so edgy, you know. Just let's not shit talk it so we yeah. can get that interview. Yeah, we yeah, love my Letterbox. We stand it. We stand. <laughs> we stand Punisher. We stand, we stand a Punisher, dude. That's the stamp of approval. Yeah. Official. Um. All right. I made a fatal mistake in my Heather's viewing experience. Oh yeah. I thought it'd be very fun to watch the uh, remade. There's like TV episodic series. Um, it yeah, was we not, ain't watching like, no great. shows. It was not a good idea at all. I thought it'd add a layer. It took away many layers. Lucas, why would you watch a show? Well, you know I, I don't know. We don't watch TV on this podcast. Show. Yeah, well, I, I know. Shows. I know. We're very anti TV, but yeah. um, service, uh, in which Paramount, great company, great studios, great streaming platform. Uh, so shout out to them. <laughs> 
Where was it streaming? Man? Was Shots it like on Joe YouTube? and Jake Paramount? No, 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 Paramount, Paramount, like streaming service. Everyone okay, because that's where I got it from. Yeah. First three episodes are up free uh, if you want to indulge yourself. But it just like I was like, because uh, where did I hear about it? I heard about it on like, Chopo Shop House. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I might as well take a look at this. We're we're doing the episode anyway. And they took like quotes and like characters from the original movie and just like whenever I watch like I watched the original movie like a day later and whenever I saw a character or heard a quote I was like I it just brought back mad memories of that show. Did they like have like any of the like goofy ass one liners? They like, did, but they like made them serious in a way like that like like the fuck me gently with a chainsaw line. Yeah, or... like that. Like they just repeated that line at least like they like, actually wanted episode. to get fucked gently with a chainsaw. I, I think so. Like, so that's the thing. They took it seriously. That's like so stupid that they would say it more than once because that like phrase is and just like so they're... absurd and like just dumb. That's such that a good line. It should only be said once. Like it's a CW Heather's. That's like a, the best way to describe. Yeah. I'm surprised it's not on CW. <laughs> I, that's what I'm thinking. Like it, very CW vibe. But um, the CW is where all there's like a there's a satanic element to uh, the TV show as well for some reason. I don't know. I feel like CW Why? is like yeah. a quintessential basic cable. We should do a Riverdale like, episode. You know. No, oh, dude, please don't make me watch Riverdale. Episode. Please don't make me watch Riverdale. Dude, <laughs> dude. I'm actually, I'm already, Riverdale? I watched yeah, it. Riverdale. Yo, Riverdale. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was dude, awful. that just slaps. Yeah, you oh, just watched no, it over my shoulder. Not. Like this. Yeah, I, I just kept, <laughs> it's so I kept bad. looking. I kept What's looking over your shoulder. What's wrong with it, Henry? Give me yeah. one thing that's one, like me. fucking Noah Cilantro for one. Like I can't stand him. <laughs> what, what about Eddie Cole Sprouse? Yeah, freaking Zach Sprouse. Like, Cole Sprouse. That, that 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 tirade about him not wanting his party. That was like the cringiest shit I've ever seen too. Was that yeah. the one when he's like, I'm not like other. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I'm different. I, I'm different. I don't, I don't fit in. Which no. coincidentally, when I go to girls at parties, that's that's actually like. The like set of lines I use. Like, I don't know why you started a party I, for me. This is the yeah. last thing I would ever want. I'm, I'm different. <laughs> I'm different. <laughs> like, dude, shut the fuck up, man. Hey, I, I, heard, like, um, I heard they're actually doing like a Heather's episode on Riverdale. Oh my god. No, shut up. We might have to, <laughs> we might have to check out for the show. Yeah. Uh, you need a collab? Collab. JD's gonna try to blow up their school. That's gonna oh, be the and plot. the most disappointing part, spoilers, they didn't even, like, blow up the school So like, 9 or whatever, when it ends. They're, um, Wait, they actually them. blow up the school in the show? Don't. They don't, they don't. They don't show oh. the blowing up, they don't show the bombs, like, they show everything up to, like, it's, like, gonna happen at prom now, instead of mm. before prom at the pep rally or whatever. Yeah, it's at the prom. Um, yeah, so they're doing it at prom now, but, like, That's the last thing it shows is... That's a logical decision, because no one goes to pep rallies. Oh, no, like... Were they mandatory at our school? Uh, yeah. yeah but, eventually, they but, changed but, them to be mandatory because everybody left before. Yeah. yeah. They changed them to be that mandatory kid got in case ran someone over. wanted to bomb us. A kid got ran over. <laughs> Just make it more convenient Wait, for a bomb. Wait, somebody got ran over? Yeah, I remember our oh, senior I, remember that. I thought that was totally yeah. like a different thing from a pep rally because I remember just like sitting in no, math class. No, that happened. No, 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 no. It wasn't at a pep rally. Still, like they're like we can't have kids going off because didn't someone 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 on their snapchat story had the picture of the kid light <laughs> oh, on the pavement with the revive <laughs> from fucking gta on him remember when that one kid got ran up yeah seth right <laughs> yeah and i then, knew him yeah so you guys know about the story about no him. don't no no really no, 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 no 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 names no <laughs> No story. <laughs> the kid on the pod. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Bro, okay. Like, like he dogs him. No, no man, let, let him say it, let him say it, let him say it. Okay, okay. We, we can guys... cut it later if it's too bad. Yeah, okay, yeah, you guys just, like, blur out the name, but, like, um... You guys know the Tooth Fairy story? The what? Uh, is, is it the same story you've told the, me, like, three times? The him, he, he the, the Tooth Fairy story involving it, his, his, bro his brother. His, yes. His, <laughs> yeah, oh, his biggest brother. Dude. Can... <laughs> oh, dude, I remember this. Wait, is it? Is he, the, <laughs> is he the vacuum story guy, or is he the different? Is that a different guy? No, that's a that's a, another kid at our school. Oh, that's the kid that got <laughs> ran over. What's the tooth? Yeah, what's story? the tooth fairy story? Yeah, so, say it. So his... don't say it. Don't say no, it. No, what? Say yeah, it. Yeah. we can cut. We can cut it. We'll we can cut it. Okay, so like his brother told him that like if he were to suck his dick right 
his his big brother, his big brother, he was like probably like 12 years old at this time, and his brother was like 16 or something like that. He told him that if he were to suck his dick, the tooth fairy would come and give him twenty dollars. Oh my god, that's so, so, he, fun. so he so he did the deed, and I don't think he ever saw the twenty dollars. <laughs> oh, he didn't get paid. That's so what sad. Oh my god, it's so fucked up. Yeah, so that's <laughs> getting cut. <laughs> We have to cut like the last like. Oh my god! <laughs> Four Dude, our school has the guy who fucks dogs. And our school has the guy who sucks his brother's dick. Dude, we have a podcast with the guy that fucks dogs. Oh my god! Oh my god! back to Heather. <laughs> Jesus. Back to Heather, boys. Oh, shit. But yeah, just like the the entire TV show is like, like it's modern but not modern and like. Like, all the Heathers are, like, like very, like, not popular people in mm. traditional schools. Right. Like, like one of them is, like, an, one's a trans, uh, like, a guy transition. The other one's a, um, like, an, uh, bigger, uh, like, SJW, like, poster type girl, like, blogger. Mm-hmm. Um, and then another one, like, okay, you only have, like, Heather Mack for, like, an episode or two before she kills herself because her... Dude, this is the best reason for like killing yourself is that her teacher boyfriend uh, got fired and broke up with her. Wow. Uh, yeah. And it's really weird. Like the parent and kid interaction is like the parents talking to her like, well, if anyone has a reason to kill themselves, it's probably you, Heather. That's a like, line in the show? Yes, yes. What the fuck? Bro. That's Because the whole thing is like the pe- the parents are incompetent and like, mm-hmm. like they don't know what they're doing. Which it's kind of like similar peanuts. to the movie. It's kind of like the peanuts, yeah. Like that line about like dad, you're an idiot. About um, oh, what was it about? Like in the the TV show is about the iPad, but Veronica's dad, you know the it's because you're an idiot, dad line. Yeah, because he'll yeah. be like, please tell me why I'm smoking it. Why I smoke these? Things. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that has more significance because like Veronica's like a serial killer. That not serial killer, but like a murderer. Which like, she's arguably she's arguably more fucked up than JD. Dude, it's, really? so, it's so crazy when people lame. just like fly like, she, to kill yourself. She's the one that makes like him commit like the acts and stuff, which is cool because like women can be murderers too. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I was like, yeah, yes, queen, yes, I, we stand, we stand, we stand, progressive, man. But yeah, and and does the show queen. have like does the show attempt to like capture like the vibe? No, of the like like the croquet and like oh the... yeah, everything's very like symmetrical and that's the thing. They only care in the croquet scene, which is weird. Is it like, because like the movie, as it progresses, it starts to get like a bit more and more surreal as it goes. Does yeah, the show it's... capture that in any way? Or... No, it's just dog shit and like, <laughs> it's not like it's surreal. Dog shit. No, it's not like surreal. It's like weird. It's different. Mm. It's like absurdist instead of like. It's not like, a, it's not like a similar vibe. No, 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 not at all. Like That's lame. Even though that vibe works now, like. That's not what they were going for. When the I was... best part is best part. Sorry, like let me just add this. The best part of the TV show is when uh, one of the nerds, which by the way, all the nerds are gay, or okay, I guess absolutely. maybe all the gay guys are nerds. Mm-hmm. I don't know which way they want to frame that, but he gets like a trench coat and an AK-47 and glasses, like when they're doing a scooter drill. And I swear mm-hmm. to God, one of the cheerleaders lets out a very high pitched moan. And no way. that means, like, what I'm hearing from the writers is like, girl, girls get wet over school shooters. So, kids, that's, that's a lesson it's, it's like, um, it's Stockholm syndrome. Like, it's like real life. Some of them actually do, though. What? Like the people that what? like do school shootings, like get sent like or freaking hot? like pan like underwear. Oh yeah, and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, they get sent like uh fan mail, like cool same with the Ted Bundy shit. You know, with the whole like Netflix dude, and Hulu Ted Bundy stuff. Dude, like, they spent like a decent amount of change getting more Ted Bundy stuff going. Yeah, but yeah, it's just fucking wild. Like actual shit. Like, like both both Netflix and Hulu have a show about Ted. Like Bundy. uh, wait, Hulu do they? Does? Um, yeah, Hulu Netflix. Does too. Oh yeah, Netflix God. bought the Zac Efron movie. Yeah, it's like kind of like the fire thing where they have like two versions, one yeah, one legitimate, one yeah. legitimate, and the other is a shell movie. <laughs> what made by, what uh, streaming service is gonna be like a pro Ted Bundy? Netflix. Netflix. Zac Efron is Ted Bundy. <laughs> well, didn't they have to like? Well, didn't Netflix like send out a tweet that said that like 
you shouldn't like find oh, Ted Bundy it, or what, something. It, it was like a retweet to a girl that was like Ted Bundy, and fucking oh, right. just, just like yeah. So I don't think you should sympathize with the serial killer, but hey, go off. Yeah, he's yeah. not even like that hot. He's like an average looking guy. No, he's not. Dude, it's just, I don't like, know. Okay, okay. About, real, like... a real hot uh serial killer. He's looking like a snack. Charles Manson, that Ooh. guy is fucking hot, and he has a cult. Have you guys seen but, that like, show? Uh... Post prison or like mm, in prison? That's lost oh, down. like no, not in prison, but like pre pre prison. Have you seen that show, Mind Hunter or not Mind Hunter? Like pre uh, Manhunt Unabomber. No, it's no, about the guy you know... who did all like the. He sent all the bombs. Ted in the Kaczynski's mail. a fascinating figure. But so that show makes you like is like makes you really sympathetic towards him because it doesn't show you any of like the fucked up stuff he does really. It like totally separates him from his bombing. So you watch the show, and like you start to like feel for him. But then towards the end, you realize, wait, what the fuck? This guy killed like a bajillion people. That's yeah. like a really weird show that makes you like it. Trying to is the show like? Did they like? Were they dumb and fucked up, or was that like their goal to like make you? No, I don't they know. Didn't. It kind of feels like it was their goal because like the whole show, they totally separate him from like his killings and stuff. They no, kinda... they did it, Quinn. They like did it intentionally because it's like we kind of noticed. That's we were like, like kind of said. sympathizing with the serial killer the same time that like our main pro tag kind of starts to realize that he was kind of sympathizing and like I caring think, for was, the serial killer. It's just like weird because the like the main character is like trying to starting to he has that manifesto right so the main character is starting to like agree with the manifesto and that's when you start to realize mm -hmm. this is getting kind of fucked. Yeah, but um, speaking well, of hot serial killers, JD. JD, <laughs> Jason, dude, Durant. young young Christian Slater goes sicko mode. He's going sicko mode. My thoughts on that movie was that like it was great, and I think Christian Slater made it even better with his fucking rat face, dude, and his delivery. Dude. Because like dude, his, his, his voice, he is has so like, annoying. He has, like this permanent rat face, and his voice just matches it so well. G greetings it's, and salutations. It's like the aesthetic. He could have like, done. He could have done the Joker. Yeah, he could have. He's yeah, like yeah, destined. Yeah, yeah. He's just like destined to play like psychopath. He does it like perfectly in Mr. Robot, and he does it perfectly in this. Like, movie. like Dude. I wanted him to say the N word so bad. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Dude, I wish he would just, have. Just, just, okay, just to hear that totally come out of his mouth. The, the way you do a Heather's reboot. The way you do a Heather's reboot is actually to make him like an online alt-right incel trench coat mm. kid he is because that's what he is yeah. but they make him like cool in this movie like he gets he gets strange like he gets some cooter my thing okay he's like <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like he, so he's, he's not an yeah. incel right he's no no incel. no no he is very he, cell he's not, like kind of what incels no. want to be i feel like but yeah. dude he's like, kind of like an jd is a super interesting character because like I just like the way that he's portrayed in this way where he's like very like pseudo intellectual and like uses big words and like goes on like these rants and he's like and he's like uh going to get a hot dog at the at the snack shack <laughs> and like, I wanted to and, like that. And you know what he, like goes on these later. weird tangents but then like towards the end of the movie when like veronica wants nothing to do with him he starts to like lose his composure and like he starts to kind of show that he's like just as immature and like like he uses like these big words to separate himself from like everyone else like within the school like very interestingly like he thinks he's above everyone else but like towards the end of the movie like you can start to realize that it was just all a facade and he was just bullshitting he's still just a teenager you know what i'm saying you know, I I agree. Yeah. He's like today, like JD would be like a fucking bum who has a messy bedroom, watches mm -hmm. a Jordan Peterson video, decides to clean his room, and then like go tell Veronica that she's a stupid bitch for having a messy bedroom. Dude, what if J? Dude, if he was a fucking Jordan Peterson fan, he wouldn't he would have be. like bombed it. He would have like gone to school and he would have been like, you know, Veronica, the the Heather's are actually good because they're they're keeping the hierarchy uh, in place. <laughs> dude, they're I keeping like the that. social hierarchy in the place. And what Titan would be his favorite? Alex Jones, Jordan Peterson, or uh... I think definitely like a Ben Shapiro. Yeah, I think he'd be a Ben Shapiro. Yeah, I think he'd be a Ben Shapiro too. Yeah, he's all yeah, logic. Logic. Like he's He's a logic bro. Maybe, he's like trying, maybe he's like sees through the the fucking. I think thing. a little bit of Joe Rogan. I think. Ooh, he, dude, no, I don't, I don't, no, I don't think. Do you guys know who uh, Sam Harris is? No. Oh, he's. Oh, he's extremely Sam Harris. Yeah, he's he would, he's yeah. another one of those type of guys. He'd be that kind of guy. I I do agree with the Rogan Rogan part. 
Pull, pull up the clip, Jamie, and it's he would... him, him killing a Heather. Like, like his favorite episode is the one with Elon Musk. Like he just watches it every night. Oh yes, yes, yes. Like for motivation. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, he's like a huge info. Elon Musk fan. His like display dude. photo on like 4chan or whatever is gonna be like the Elon Musk epic face. Well, 4chan is all in office. You don't so... have to. No, no, like, yeah, wow, the one dude, where he's smoking the joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have a photo on 4chan. You just need to stop talking about this stuff. Would he be a pet? You're just not poster? relatable. You're not. Relatable. <laughs> Thanks. You're, you're, that's not the pet demo. Pet that's not your Would demo. That you. Oh my! My cat just scared me. Um, I think it's cool that like in like the '90s in Ohio, you could bring uh, you could bring guns to school. That was pretty sick. Like just holy shit! Yeah, yeah, yo, that that part like that's that wild. Crazy. Just pulled out a couple blanks. Pew pew pew. I was just and like, pew, holy pew. shit! He just fucking murdered them right off. That and... I thought that was like a dream or something. I was like, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. And then like the next scene, they're like, I can't believe they won't expel him. I'm like, what? Like, they didn't Dude, even touch him at all. Like, what the No, fuck? they're just like, you know what? I'll see you tomorrow. This is a pretty cool gun. Do you want to wanna compare like, guns after school? Yeah, like, sure. Nice, nice Who amongst yeah. us? I just want to say, who amongst us hasn't pulled out a gun during lunch? I mean, you know what? Or, like, or hasn't dreamed of pulling a gun. If we're, I mean, we're, let's Holy not throw shit. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we uh, back, back on, so we, at you, we, all, we all used to eat lunch together in high school, so that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> Quinn, we're all looking if, at you, pal. If, Dude, if, if you, anything, if I would have freaking oh, eating lunch with you guys. I would have turned the gun on myself. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh, <laughs> all right. Let's, should we do theories? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll kick it off, I guess. Mine's, like, not even really a theory. It's just mostly kind of just a, a little bit of an observation. I think it's kind of obvious, right, that um, the movie is just, like, very much, like, a critique of society and uh, very, like, satirical and, like, humor and, like, super humorous at points, surprisingly enough. Um, so I just kind of, like, picked up on all those different things was just... Uh, how like each character just fits a like social norm but um i think this film is just really strong at like understanding like society even today and the thing that tipped me off on it was they basically predicted that shitty logic 1-800 suicide hotline song with their teen suicide don't do it do you guys know what i'm talking about yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um basically <laughs> That's like that's like pretty much all, but um... <laughs> the theory is like the <laughs> logic song. It invented the logic song. So it did. It's not enough logic, uh, but to... no, I just kind of wanted to talk about. I, I didn't really have like a theory. I just kind of wanted to talk about what we think Heather's like reflects on like society, like various portions they, of the film. It kind of predicts that like thirteen reasons why type of thing too. Like the mm -hmm. someone someone kills himself and everyone's like all sad about it even though they didn't give yeah. a fuck about him. Yeah, I like how it highlights the the apathy of like everyone in like a community because like, I mean not to the extent of Heather's but like like we know we all know people who like died or like killed themselves oh. in high school or like it are in like neighboring high schools and like every time it happens you see like people on like Insta Instagram especially like post like the one photo they have of each other from like 12 years ago you mm -hmm. know just and it's almost like like i hate to be like cynical but it's very like i want to show that i'm really sad about this even you don't know the person and didn't give like a real like fuck about him while they were mm -hmm. alive so it's like the sad olympics yeah it like it is, oh, to totally yeah, totally sad olympics. it does like ah. such a good job at that too i like this JD place and like, scrolling through the like people that are like talking about the first he the Heather that dies and like how yeah. she's just like she's just like you fucking hated her <laughs> like I just thought that was really funny. and it's just like it's just such a strong like black comedy of these situations I have no idea I have absolutely zero clue how they mess the TV up shows tv show i don't know like so badly i, mean, it is I don't so know bad. why they did i think they messed up and they didn't make him wasp like the point of heathers like the heathers aren't the good guys they're yeah not good 
No, they're like the they're like, like the no ruling one. class. Like they should be. Like it's like fucked up that this is true, but like the ruling class is like is waspy. Mm-hmm. It, it, it makes yeah, sense. Well, and well, like high school's well, changed yeah. a bit, so it doesn't always. Fucking. If anything, make Veronica, didn't... make Veronica a POC or a queer person or something. Like she's that would be... meant to be an outsider. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Like that like, would just... be. That would be interesting. And the whole thing about him not seeing the Heathers is like the villains, like you were saying, that's so dumb. Cause like I, I like how they do with the show is like Veronica's like a like pretty mentally unstable, and like she killed a kid when she was younger. Mm-hmm. What? But like wait, wait, yeah, wait, they, what? Shit. Yeah, sorry. Spoiler alert. Yeah, she kills a kid. Uh, when they're younger. Like how? With a croquet mallet. Jesus uh, Christ! Yeah, what um, a stupid show. What an absolute. And uh, so they don't wild. have Heather. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, Heather Chandler die. Like she's there. Like she, some. She gets JD tries to kill her with Nazi poison pill, kind of based. Like the cyanide. Um, uh, yeah, but like he says a different name for it. But yeah, it's cyanide okay. basically. It's Nazi cyanide. Cool cyanide. Um. <laughs> 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 import Jeez. cyanide um but yeah uh and then like she wakes up on the next episode because her parents like like oh she's probably doing her acting thing again and fucking like give her the people's elbow to her spine which is not how you give cpr and it like comes it from her throat um and then she's alive it doesn't tell anyone so she uses jd and veronica's puppets but not really like she never interacts with them it's just sick. that's fucking stupid it d- just bad bad are they bad, like bad. even friends with veronica in that movie? yeah yeah they're still friends with her but like okay there's no reason why you know i think that's annoying that they made veronica like a psychopath well yeah like, veronica's kind of like this like very like she isn't like a good person in the movie but like she's very um I can see how they got it though. Like she just goes yeah. along with JD killing people. But like she has a conscience. That's like supposed to be the separation between her. Yeah. So she, I'm gonna like, be curious actually... about how they're gonna end this because this is totally getting renewed. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like, season two. It's kind of hard. She to has hard like mind. a legitimate. She has legitimate humanity. Kinda, so I think they kind of did her dirty. She kind of loses it though in the end. Right, well, but like, that's part yeah, of the story. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think that's why it's Which important. is why like the movie. Like, Sympathetic. The show's progressing. She's never had this innocence or like, yeah, a compass at all. Like she is just like down to kill. Mm-hmm. I think it, it's like, I think um she was totally fine with killing Heather. It was perfect. She was perfectly fine with killing Heather, and it was like after she killed uh the two chuds, uh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and framed them as gay. Dude, they really were chuds. In the TV show, yeah. one of the chuds is gay, actually. Yeah, which is interesting. She, oh. she kind of got like faced yeah. with that, like, with like her um, the causations of her actions. Like when she right. like sees that dot, when she sees like one of the brothers, like one of the dudes, uh-huh. like sisters crying or whatever. That's when like like reality kind of sets in a little bit for her. Um, so she kind of you know the this. the best thing about the TV show, or like not best yeah what's, what's the best thing about the tv show uh well it is the kid the school shooter but like an interesting thing they did is where veronica like fake hangs herself so mm. jd doesn't real kill her yeah well in the tv show exact same lines exact same like everything surrounding like the scenario but yeah. like just the delivery is different and it's creepy as fuck wait yeah yeah so what like i just I, there's a lot of build it but basically veronica gets JD institutionalized. <laughs> what? Wait, yeah, what? Just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, cause, Hold on. He, he blow, she plants a bomb in his Porsche. Same bitch in Porsche she has in the movie, too. But why like, is she fucking like, so dude, psychotic? I, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, you guys need to just watch it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot to explain. Did you watch like all all of season yes, one? Yes, all nine. All nine. All oh, nine I thought episodes. you just watched the first thing. How, no, does it, how does it end? Oh, yeah, it ends spoiler. with them getting ready to go to prom. Like, it doesn't end with, like, a confrontation or anything. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, so they, like, definitely were setting up, uh... Like, they, they're, like, give us a season two to end this. Like, it wasn't, like, a limited series. Like, they're trying oh, to get... let's turn this 100-minute movie into, like, a nine-hour-plus drivel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, like, so sad. Did her mom walk in on her hanging, too? 
in the show? Uh, no, 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 no. I like how they, they like in the movie they just like glance over that. Like she doesn't have to explain to her mom why she like pretended to hang. Well, because the parents are idiots. Scene. You know what I mean? Dude, but, I fucking love that scene. But that whole, just that like, whole, like, hey. yeah, that whole um, like dad, you're an idiot, is because they're scared <laughs> of her. They're scared of her because they know she killed the girl in the TV series. Huh. Oh, yeah. So scary. it's like weird. Like they're framing her as like, like a serial oh, wait, killer. Yeah, that's... That's dumb. It's like supposed to be like they're just a. Bl- yeah, don't I really care that dude, much. That's like the know. whole. Like I That's think. Like... What were you saying, Lucas? Oh, the writing's just really bad. Like it's just, like they could have done it really well, and like if they would have been a. True to the source material. Where did the but, uh... Where did the writers go to school at? Dude, fucking Yale. Were they Yale, Yale writers? <laughs> dude, I bet you. I bet if fucking you did not. Yale. Like, one of them was who are the where did the writers on the on the on the like movie go yeah yeah um i don't know uh i don't know i'm getting real like i don't know like brown maybe no i'd say no i don't don't think it's a harvard movie but we'll see no it's a harvard movie you said fucking harold and kumar is harold and kumar is a harvard movie well, because the expert not. writing and the allusion to... Re- Only a Harvard man could write that but dick you, in the you corner. Don't get I, that. You don't I get really that. do. I don't like Harold and Kumar, but I really do respect the... The, the reference. The reference to Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Like, you had to have at least read, like, two or three books to make that reference. Exactly. Yeah, you had to read exactly two books, and that's exactly how many we've all read. <laughs> Except probably Noah, because Noah's still, no, Noah's no still reads. semi-literate. <laughs> you probably read them in high school, and they were like, dude. Okay, what what English? Uh, at least they were in the advanced English class. Because you guys, you didn't read that in high school, did you, Noah? No. Exactly. Yeah, so we are <laughs> the writers of Rosen. <laughs> Noah. Man, fuck you. Wait, have you guys rewatched uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle? Okay, 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 okay. Dude, you just have to listen to all these episodes back to back, you know. Yeah. Maybe you tell your girlfriend, your you know, friends, your co workers about it. Your yeah. like, girlfriend's boyfriend. Tell your co workers yeah, before you're not yeah, on the floor. Like your, <laughs> your girlfriend's parents. Like just tell everyone you really know and, yeah. watch, and like come across. Do you, um do you do your guys' parents? Listen to the podcast. Like, no, no. <laughs> no. Dude. I, tell, oh, I keep telling them it's a work in progress. We're like, oh yeah, you know, it's like, I'm, it's coming. My my dude, parents ask how it's going. I'm like, you know, it's 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 progressing. I think we might start it soon. <laughs> dude, I'm waiting until I, I just get famous parents. out of nowhere to tell them like, yeah, don't listen to it. But I'm, I'm making <laughs> yeah, money off it. <laughs> my dad's tried to call me a couple times while we've been recording, so they know that like we do them. But I haven't, it's I haven't told them the name of it. Oh my uh, God. Dude, uh, tell him it's uh, Pod Save America. Pod Save America. I'll just tell him it's Kung Town. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. I should do the same thing. No, why would you? Wait, Quinn, why would you do that? It's called That's a worse fucking than joke. Dude. It's called a fucking <laughs> yeah. joke. Honestly, my dad might even enjoy Kung I didn't Kung realize Town. how, like, in person in that. God, I... My dad, my dad might actually enjoy Kung Town. You never know. Dude, Henry, slow. did you have, um... Did you have a theory or anything? Yeah. I did, yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah. not that much of a theory either, kind of like Noah's. Kind of like an off- observation, you know? Very it's fine. We, we, like, we like those. We like those. But this like, is a good episode. Um, so he's talking about, I, I don't remember the exact line, but he was talking about how, like, um, the only time when everyone gets along is in death. Is and I kind of made that, like, connection to, like, the idea of um, the same idea in Evangelion. Where like mm. everyone's together as one in death. Yeah, yeah. And I found that interesting, so I was I was wondering like if he was right, you know, like if like killing people is the right thing to do, because like, um, the the movie kind of does this thing where it's like, yeah, is everyone really happier that you know one of the hazards is dead? Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of like a like that kind of like ethical thing too, huh? Like it's also like yeah. um, let's see. Like the idea of Thanos. Was Thanos right? Thanos? Like, yeah. Dude, Thanos? <laughs> Thanos, right. Thanos, well, was Thanos right? Was Thanos right? Was Thanos right? Dude, Thanos has like the uh, same issue as like the blue balls from the Watchmen. Yeah. Where it's like, he instead of like doubling all the resources in the universe, he just kills half the people. <laughs> yeah, Thanos didn't make it through Where that. Freaking, you know, yeah. Thanos, instead of killing everyone, could just like make like, everyone live yeah. better. But... 
Thanus. <laughs> um, I think in like terms of like with Heather's, I think it was like um, they thought it was gonna have like a bigger impact with like killing, killing the first Heather, yeah. but it was just kind of like it was just like kind of like a hydra. Yeah, but situation. she got replaced, huh? Yeah, she just got yeah, replaced yeah, immediately, yeah. which is like the whole idea of it. Cause like at one point, uh, the main Heather straight up says that to Veronica is just like, if you weren't in my position, you would want the same thing. Oh. Yeah. It's like a. It's like a situation where it's kind of like That's you cool. can't just like kill off or just like completely remove like the bad portions of your life you kind of have to like take the power away from those bad people like, those bad people within society you have to take power into your own hands which is kind of like what she does at the end. maybe thanos should have tried like talking to the people he didn't get along with yeah maybe thanos should have just asked the earth to be nice and make resources Maybe yeah. Thanos should have just like like Quinn said, just make more resources. Yeah, like for instead everyone. of kill half the people, just double the resources. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he really could have done anything. He. Why did he? Why did he do it like the, kind of the, 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 the hard way? There. Well, I think he was Maybe. like his half his planet died, and then they did really well after that, or something. So it's like, hey, like it's not like if we had more, we would have been fine. It's like if we had less people, it would have been fine. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, theory. Uh, theory. Yeah. Thanos is Saudi Arabia, and. Uh, the universe is Yemen. Whoa, 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 dude. Save that for Avengers. Solution, he whips his big cock out and then gives everyone the resources <laughs> via cock. Jesus How, what, what was just like, just like, Just like the Saudi royal family. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you're gonna get targeted. Um, dude, we're already targeted, probably. Dude, okay. I... Hey, also... I, I big thing speaking of cock. already being targeted, if dude, I, I ever like... commit suicide, I will not commit suicide. It is the Clintons. Dude, uh, yeah. Our one other just listener. Right my life now. accordingly. I want you to get some pizza, rent a private jet, and just fly. Just go for it. Go crazy. Dude, Ooh, I love cheese pizza. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love. Is that is that our Brian Singer reference? I, I do have a question. Make it forty minutes. That was forty minutes this week, boys. That took us to and mention I Brian Singer. I didn't even fucking wasn't get it. even Alex's <laughs> time. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> This week, boys, right. wait, only time sex, sex, sex on a kill street. I have bitch. one last like discussion question for you guys. Yeah, we like kind of talked about like obviously the attempt at making like a modern Heather's and like our ideas mm. for what would make it good. Um, but like a lot of the conversation around the show and like we made jokes about it, but how they kept pushing it back because of like different school shootings and it was like a touchy subject, right? Yeah, um, do you think there is a way to do like um, to do Heather's in a modern day that's like not in dealing like with yeah like a guy bringing in a bomb or shooting up the school yeah. probably not I would like say you could no. probably do like the same thing in the same subject matters and just change the location probably yeah well like okay so i'm gonna do like heather's but in a call I, I, I think it would be way less impactful though yeah, yeah no just if go it ahead wasn't talk. set in the school yeah, setting ahead. i feel like heather's kind of does apply to today though like they push it back just because it's got like the like killing other students in it, but like the message of Heather's kind of like still works for modern no, day. Absolutely, I, I I agree. I just think well, Heather's I think it's interesting like... that such a part of the national dialogue is like, oh, we need to push this back because of this like. Yeah. Well, I think it's done. Even, even, you could make this show like if you made it today. I think you could also make it to like address like that issue in a, a productive way. You know. Mm -hmm. like, and that's the thing. It's something very shallow that the TV show covers. Like not but to, it doesn't like not to, make it a part of it. Not to bring up Thirteen Reasons Why again, but they have that like school shooter at the end of the second season, and like Heather's. Oh, they kid, do. Yeah, but they they make him like sympathetic, and like they send a guy out to like try to stop him before he like God. starts like blowing people away. So it's like they could do a way better like take on that sort of stuff with this story than yeah. the like some of the modern stories are. Yeah. Is that the kid that got the stick shoved up his ass? Yeah, that kid. Like... Whoa! Spoilers! Spoilers! Whoa! But yeah, I just saw that mention. That. More like thirteen oh, reasons by. Have like... you guys been watching that show? Or something? Yeah, I've seen all the episodes of that. Reasons. It's so fucking bad. Like they, they, they basically have this. <laughs> I've seen all the episodes. It's terrible. It's so terrible, dude. It's so fucking bad. Like at the school shooter, he like 
snitched on someone, so they shove a broom up his ass in the school bathroom, and then Jesus he like goes Christ. to like, it's like the like the pretty much prom I think, and then he brings like an AR-15 to the school. He's all like geared up, but then like he, Is that exact model? he sends you guys like remember the... F the prom. Yeah, worst terrible movie. And he like he, he like gets on the trash can. He starts to, like make this fucking tirade about how like, you know, at least we didn't shoot up the school. We're gonna kill yeah. ourselves. No, <laughs> he was like, we didn't shoot up the school. Nobody killed themselves. Shit yeah. like that. That's a, that's a dub. That's a dub. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that movie. That movie was crazy. Henry, that movie, like you thinking that movie's fun, Riverdale would be right up your alley. <laughs> But yeah, they like about the real God. issue. Riverdale's cool though. Riverdale's cool because like every season they just kind of say like fuck it more and more. Yeah. And they like push the boundaries of like like Riverdale's this weird like cultural artifact and I think it's going to like last beyond our time because no one knows <laughs> if it's like ironic or not. And I don't even think the people working on the show know if they're like oh, ironic God. or not. Cuz Cole P- Cole Sprouse is like the most self-serious person ever. Like yeah. yeah, he has a funny Twitter, but everyone I know who's met him total dick. Really? So I just think it's so funny. Allegedly. I just think it's so funny that this show, like, has, like, captivated everyone and no one knows, like... Like, if they're serious or not. And, like, I do hope, like, when the climate apocalypse happens or when, like, China finally takes us out, we get to see, um, like, I don't know, like, whatever future species takes over finds Riverdale and uses it to... (laughs) Dude, I want them to find like Young Thug lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Playboy Cardi lyrics. I feel like yeah. Riverdale's kind of like the anime. Riverdale's like the anime. People magazine of TV shows. That is a, Riverdale. That's an awesome uh, simile. Because like, yeah, Riverdale's like in that weird. Because like you probably have weird a brand of... you probably enjoy like watching slash reading it, but like when it's over, you probably didn't really like gain anything out of it. It's just like you kind of feel guilty. Yeah. Gross. You feel like you need a shower. You need when, to I, a shower. when I watched the first episode of Riverdale, it kind of keep tissues close. Kind of remind me of like Twin Peaks. Whoa, well, what? Really? It reminded really? me of Twin. Well, yeah, because it started off as like a mystery, like, oh shit, who killed this dude? You know. That's true. Do you know who did kill him? <laughs> well, I think we do find out. It was the it was the fucking girl, right? And well, it was his parents. It was his parents. In Riverdale? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. didn't he get oh, a girlfriend? Oh, I thought we were talking about Twin Peaks. Yeah, don't spoil Twin Peaks. No, don't spoil Twin Peaks. Yeah. We can spoil Riverdale, though. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, hey, quick, like, little poll, straw poll. Yeah. Which Heather is the most attractive? Redhead. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Like, uh... Heather. Yeah, Noah, Noah, Veronica. No, you cannot. Her name's not fucking right. Heather, she's not a Heather. She's the hottest one, though. She's no, in the she, Heather. No, she's not no, a yeah, fucking Heather. Options. She's in the crew, though. Why, why, why would she's we give you three options? Oh, I want to be... Writer's so quirky. She's so cool. No, it's one of the Heathers. <laughs> he slams his desk. He slams his desk. This is like the only movie that like I can actually like see the like the kind of abnormal interest in Winona Ryder. Because like when she was in Stranger Things, everyone was kind of going crazy. Like, oh my god, she's in this. But I never really yeah. like could tell why. But she's good in this. She's cool. She's super good. Uh... She has such like charisma in this she's world. Super- yeah, she's like really weirdly badass. Yeah, like, like extremely bad. badass. Young Christian Slade is a badass. This like, is she like fucking, pre DUI. She fucking holds her own. Go sicko okay. mode. This is this is pre DUI Christian Slater. Yeah. This is pre-DUI. this is pre like harassing women at a bar Christian Slater. Christian Slater harassed women at a bar. Yeah, dude. I was I re- I read his Wikipedia. Like he's a broken man. God, no, God, he, please he, save he, me. Brendan Fraser. He's a broken man. <laughs> He, Dude, no, I, I he, we're him. sympathetic towards him. We, no, yeah. like, that's different. That's, yeah. He, he, got, he, he was got, a child actor um, that, yeah. Be yeah. sad. He's in the new Doom Patrol, though. And, like, that's, watching, a, that's pretty good. all three Mummy video, er, movies. Why? You just see the deterioration of a man, like, yeah. unfold right in, right, right in front of you. Christian Slater was arrested like, for drunk driving in 1989. Yeah, and then in 1994 he was. Oh, that's arrested. a year after Heather's came. That out. is a year after Heather. 1994 oh. he was arrested when he tried to board a commercial plane with a gun in his luggage. Oh, he that's, actually, that's, 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 that's the one I forgot. That's the one I forgot. And then like in 2000 he was. 
He was sentenced for the the plane thing because this is pre nine eleven. He was sentenced to community service. Dude, oh imagine God. taking a gun on a plane. <laughs> like, dude, I, dude, by the way, mind, to all the to all the national security guys listening, I will not do this. Dude, but imagine what if, taking like, taking a gun on a plane and like, like just them being like, oh, you'll, you're gonna get like it's no big deal. Community dude, service, what if yeah. like what if like playing JD is like playing the Joker? You become. The character gives you. Yeah, so Christian much Slater money. like went on a twenty-year bender because he played. Yeah, it. he just went fucking batshit. He, he went sicko mode. Yeah, he just went sicko like, mode. Oh, what was the Jared Leto quote like? Like you put a lot in this character, but this character puts a lot into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was the... God. Okay, but that's because like Jared Leto's batshit crazy. Yeah, he's kind of like crazy before <laughs> the character, I think. Like it, it, Jared Leto's gonna bring like, a gun on a plane now. He I had an idea, Joker, but in a non-in like invasive way, like. Jared Leto just harassed his castmates. Yeah. Well, Christian Slater harasses women on the street, so... Is I mean, Christian Slater so hashtag cancer? No, no, no. He's not no, he went through. He went through, like, AA and all that stuff. Like, I think he's oh, sober okay. now. He's reformed. Yeah. That's good. He's a reformed man. And now he's in Mr. Robot. Yeah. He, so, he's like, one of those classic, wow, like, damn. coming of age when I'm, like, 40 guys, though, you know? He's like, like Robert Downey Jr. Kind of like took way too long to do it. I think a, a yeah. modern version of him is the guy that plays the like the kind of sketchy nerd on Stranger Things who got caught like with Ooh. coke on a plane that one time. Oh, oh my god, god. Charlie, Charlie Heaton, right? Yeah, nothing happened to him either. Dude, that kid's like the worst character. Didn't he almost show. get banned from the U.S. though? I think I, so because yeah. I think he is like from another country. He's Brit. He's a Brit. Yeah, like twenty-one. But he it really does look like he does coke. I mean. Yeah, he does. I mean, who doesn't? It's Hollywood. If you're over the age of ten, he's also like the great... worst character in Stranger. Being like a blonde guy, Quinn, maybe you can back me up. It's important not to get too pale as a blonde guy, or else you look like you do coke, or like are trying to bring back the Third Reich. God. If you don't get too pale, you got to keep a tan. If well, you... like Quinn's fine yeah, if you get because he's like dirty blonde. If you get too pale, I think you're obligated to wear a trench coat. That's true. That's actually like you're in the code. Obligated. That's in the guidebook. Dude, it, but it works. JD, like, you don't see slays, dude. He's... Yes, yeah, he's awesome. awesome. Dude, he sleeps he's with a fucking no writer. writer. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, okay, say if I were to put some sunglasses on, a duster, and say stuff like, uh, like, hey, how's it going? Do you want to get a hot dog at the... Greetings uh, <laughs> and salutations. Like, 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 if I just started over-enunciating things and, like, saying shit like... Like, oh, society is corrupt, uh, you know, like, and just kind of staring out over, like, the courtyard of my school. Like, do you think that would work? Go I think up you to the try first and girl. report back next week. Okay, Lucas, this is what you need to do. You need to go into the nearest food mart, point out the hottest chick, and go up to her and just be like, you know, in my journey, I've, ne <laughs> I've never come across <laughs> art that oh, hasn't this... been able to fuse. Or like something like that, like just yeah. Like... So I just need, and then no matter what her reaction is, I'm... um, yeah, you're, you're which definitely... he does that in the show too, by the way, which is weird, and like sleeps with her like within like six hours of knowing her. <laughs> yeah, which is kind of cool. Drain that cooter, you know what I mean? Oh my God. I think given given Stop. Lucas's school's recent history, he might want to be a little more careful. I was actually gonna make a I was gonna make the joke that the whole like central false alarm thing was actually Lucas just like testing out oh his God. JD theory. <laughs> Very committed to the bit. <laughs> it was actually like, awesome. there wasn't there wasn't a shooter. It was just Lucas in a trench coat standing on the roof. <laughs> yeah, it was me just it was me it was me whispering to a girl in my class. Society society is corrupt. Oh my god. Uh, we live in a society. Say, like, going up to her. Greetings and salutations. need to change it. Like, are you fucking kidding me? God. <sighs> Alright. Uh, Any final thoughts or are we good to wrap up? Oh. Uh, I think we're good. Alright. Um, next episode, little Oscars preview. Uh, me, Noah, and Henry are going to be doing that. Oh, shit. Talking yep. Bohemian Rhapsody. Talking snubs predictions shit talking we're uh, mostly just gonna talk about bohemian did you just see that yeah. um bo burnham yeah. just like roasted the oscars when he got an award from the the writers guild or whatever oh i saw like, that that was like a steal yeah he was like he was like um have fun at the oscars because i won't be there or something like that after he like, won good for him yeah i don't want to get too much into this now but like i do hope that the oscars are like kind of on the way out and they very well might be you know 
I think like, we should just swap the Oscars out for like a like a Twitter bracket poll. Oh God, dude, we those should, are awesome. You know, we should Especially do the ones back grade. in high school. You guys should do eighth grade for an episode. Eighth grade? It's yeah. No, maybe we should. Put that I on actually, the list. I actually want to know you guys' like honest thoughts on it. We, we can put it on the master okay. list. Yeah, we're starting for down me, away I, from, For like... me, I didn't like it. I didn't like it personally, but like I, I, I could see for some people that they Is really like... like it. Isn't it like really awkward? It's super but awkward. I, I think that's like the point, though, which is yeah, yeah. that's, that's right. the point. But it, it for me, it wasn't fun to watch because it was so awkward and like terrible. Oh. So like, I just want to know your guys' thoughts on it. There were some really funny moments, but I also felt like sometimes it's a little too rough. <laughs> Quinn, you've seen it? Yeah, yeah I've seen it. Uh, Quinn loves about Burnham. It's uh, it's free on Amazon. Oh, it is. To, yeah, that's why. Yeah. I'll, I'll watch that. A lot of the A twenty four movies are free on Amazon. Oh, that's cool. Like I just watched... this is the one where they're in fucking Cedar Rapids free. Just chilling in Cedar, Cedar Rapids. Ra- Good job. Cedar you know the one I'm talking about, right? Where they're all. Uh, I actually, Never mind. I, you yeah, know what? Not worth it. Not worth it. You know what? Not Let's just end the episode. You're stretching. Right. You're stretching. Henry, any sure plugs? Like... Henry, any oh, plugs? Yeah. Plugs. Oh yeah, plugs. yeah. Follow me on Twitter at uh at Henry PNW, and my girlfriend has. An awesome uh, art page on Instagram at uh, Cameron T Art. Oh, yeah, we'll, I actually, we'll, we'll I actually should follow that. We should we'll, also we'll link those in the description. Yeah, we'll, we'll link her. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do all that shit. Okay. Get some follower crossover. All right. Would She's you say you're oh. her JD? Yeah. To her Veronica. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'd say while you're at it, follow us on Twitter too at Honors Film Pod. Yeah, yeah, we need to start getting people to listen to this because I think we're. Uh, what would you say, Quinn? How many unique listeners? Ten. We're up to ten. Ten. Hey. Whole unique listeners. Ten. We're about to be on iTunes if they let us, and if they open the golden gate. Yes. This the golden time next gate. year. This time next year, we will have done a Chapo appearance, a Joe Rogan appearance, and a um, a calm town. A brief prison appearance for getting on Jeffrey Epstein's uh, private jet. Welcome. We won't actually be going to prison. We'll just get a sip. Like, we'll be fine. Community service. Community okay. service. For real, wrap up. Thanks for listening. Uh, goodbye. You're... Dang.